Hello folks, today I'm going to be taking a look at War Games Atlantic's Partisan Box 1, The French Resistance. Okay, here we have the French Partisan Box for the World of Blaze, War Games Atlantic's Second World War range. I do quite like how it says, brackets, 1, French Resistance, which leads me to believe other partisans will be coming. Watch this space. On the reverse, you get a bit of a history of the French Resistance and what you can get in this box, which is 32 Parisian partisans. Okay, so as you can see, four bodies per sprue, eight sprues, 32 men. You're good to go. We have a variety of heads and weapons. So as you can see up here, we have, I think, 14 heads, maybe 15. 14. So from bareheaded, berated, um, wearing a uh, oh, soldier's hat, the name escapes me. Uh, we also have trilbies, flat caps, and even a scarf in here. Weapon wise, some pistols, some rifles. So we have a German potato masher. We have a Luger, another Masher, uh, standard um, Bren guns and Stens, uh, automatic pistol, a little grease gun, and then some rifles and a big Bren, along with holstered pistols and some magazine um, carrying capacity. God, that was difficult to get that line out, wasn't it? Anyway, let's put a few together and take a look at how they turn out. Okay, so build-wise, very easy. You know, in most cases, hands are going on to, or arms are going onto the body and then the, uh, the hands already attached. Clean-up was negligible. We do have somebody with a uh, proper hand grenade from the Allied side. It's a nice set of miniatures. Yes, it does say French um, resistance on it, but they would work equally well for something like uh, Polish resistance or the Warsaw Rising. Most of the weapons on the sprue were available to the Polish as well. I think the grease gum is the only one that wasn't. Um, but otherwise they, they would have had things like the, uh, the Bren, Lugers, they're all easily accessible to them. Um, the civilian clothing as well is quite nice. They're mostly wearing jackets or, or sort of, uh, coats and there's nothing particularly, um, regional about the heads either. So you can get away with throwing these under the table in a variety of places. You could even use them for interwar uh, if you're playing something like a very British Civil War or um, if you're doing stuff around the Easter Rising or the Irish Civil War. Uh, a lot of these could be used for that as well, especially considering the fact that the guns were bought from both sides um, in the run-up to the... Uh, the Easter Rising, so and the the War of Independence afterwards, the Guerrilla War. So you've a lot, of, awful lot of German weapons, along with whatever else they could lay their hands on. Uh, a few of them would be out of place, but the the miniatures themselves, nice nice spread of clothing and weaponry, gives you a very disparate group working together. I think an awful lot of people will be picking these up. I'm curious to see what their next partisan force will be. Um, because obviously you can go to Poland, you can go to um, other parts of Europe, especially the Dutch resistance and, and things like that. So, yeah, I think um, possibly even Greek, Greek resistance as well would be an interesting one to go for, where you've got those occupied islands in the Med. So fascinating, really nice kit, very unexpected, but then that's what War Games Atlantic tend to do. Um, 
throw out kits that other people don't manufacture or possibly don't even think about manufacturing. So nice to see rather than a umpteenth German sprue, we have got some French resistance fighters instead. There we have it for World War II fans. You can now get plastic resistance fighters. Uh, interesting that the box is subtitled one. Like I said, I hope the next thing out will be Polish, but only because I have Polish and it would be nice to have a few more sort of Polish in there. Czech as well would do the job, but really, as far as the partisans go, there's an awful lot of different places they can go with it. Potentially even the second box may be just female uh, French partisan fighters. So it'd be interesting to see where they, they take these. Excellent if you're planning on doing a bit of interwar fighting as well. A couple of weapons you'd have to drop out or uh, substitute. But uh, yeah, if you're planning on doing something like a very British Civil War or some of the uh, fighting in Ireland or even um, boxer stuff, I suppose. Mm, well, no, maybe not the boxers, but uh, definitely there's there are uses for them out there uh, for various functions and games. Let me know what you're planning on using them with below and I'll be back again soon. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.